Hello, this is Martin from Secret, the channel for learning about trading and investing. Welcome to Markets Tomorrow, the daily stock market analysis show where we look at what happened in the market and then look forward to plan a better trade for the next day. Let's make it very short today because you know I'm already late in, uh, uh, in you know, before I could uh, you know, proceed with this. So let's get into the action. So tomorrow is August 5th, Friday, 2022. Let's look at the price patterns, right? This is what happened in the market, right? It is a bull trap, right? It is a bull trap. V shaped move is what happened in today. Look at this. Sudden crash at 11 pm, 250 points down, and then you no, know, it recovered. That's exactly what happened today. Then if you also bull trap day, in today, sudden thousand, nearly thousand points of drop, and then half recovery of that, right? So that's it. But finally, Nifty has ended up closing flat when Nifty has ended up closing. More than half a percent in red, but both are formed uh, a bull trap hammer. Bull trap is when the price moves above the previous candle high and then closes below the previous time is close. Okay. That's exactly what happened in both the dices. So hammer, hammer on the top of a rally could indicate reverse of the trend, right? So will be slightly cautious. That's what price pattern, but not necessarily. Always, right? It, it's a combination. So, anyway, some retracement was due because a big, no, nearly 17, 15 percent plus kind of moves have happened from the bottom lower swing, and uh, there was some retracement in the initial stage. But after that, uh, from the 28th of last month, there was no non-stop So, some kind of retracement was expected, and that's clearly what happened. But it was so sudden that. Uh, and it happened in expiry day, and because of tomorrow's RBI policy, a lot of sell off, profit booking, all of this uh, combined to other cost power, right? So that's exactly what it is, right? So support resistance is 7500 and 7800 here, make a note 38,000 and uh, 38,760 is the resistance zone, right? Previous swing high is about 38,760 is, so it's from the bank nifty 7500, 7800, those are levels on the nifty. Volatility, if you see it, it's a, it's a volatility band, volatility band, so it's expanding, it's bullish. Momentum is clearly bullish, and ADX is also bullish. That's on the both times, right? Look at the momentum, you can see that it's in the bullish zones, and it's also bullish zones. Trend, if you see, trend is also bullish, clearly, but bang of the trend has taken a bend. Normally, when the ADX trend, the indicator of the trend has taken a bend, means it's likely that the trend is over and then the cool off, and some sideways action can be expected. That's why the trend indicators. Now, India weeks had spiked up, so it is sh shot up about 20 today. Yes, but cold of later, I took second and import to fight. It's very close to 20, so I have to be very cautious. Features open interest showing that this is unwind, long unwind that happened in Bank Nifty, and short build up is what happened today. Right? It's a big, act, no? big crash day, very highly volatile day, but today, expiry day, August 4th. Options or II, the levels may not be applicable because it's tomorrow is Friday, the first trading day of the weekly option. So, but just keep making note of that the highest put writing is what is dominating 17,000 and 18,000 is the range, or the highest put and call rate is there. 36,000 and 38,500 is where the magnitude levels are there for operators options. Put call ratio is 0.99 and 0.71, slightly bearish on bank NFT, but very close evolution is made in by, by NFT. If you look at the sectors, all the sectors have bullish momentum except the reality sector. Reality is you know, slipped to the side. Now, if you look at the heavyweights, index heavyweights, you no, know, Vance and Kodak has gone to the sideways in the momentum perspective. SCC Bank, ICC Bank, Infi, TCS, all are still maintaining the short term bullishness on the momentum perspective. Institutional data sell off, what has happened today? Let's quickly see whether data has come in. So, data has not come in today. Definitely, there was. There was, there must have been some, you know, serious buying that might have happened. Mm, otherwise, which market would not end up flat after such big two fifty, two fifty point drop down. No? Definitely, some FI buy might have happened, but we'll have to see that later. Code is falling. Dollar is uh, rising. Let us see all these figures tomorrow. And it's falling is good. Dollar is the dollar is actually dollar index is actually falling, but USD INR is not falling, right? It's uh, slightly rising after it does dip below 79 level. So, this level has to be checked tomorrow. SGX as of now is seen flat, you know, but you'll have to see that pre market tomorrow. Using dices as of now, there is some bright, 
and your overall distribution is maintained in the moment of perspective and it's in the reversal mode if you look at that. If you see tomorrow is an RBA policy, you have to be uh, cautious. Two picks for swing trades, so it's the bank long and the order is long, right? Uh, reasons bullish moment, reasons are clearly bullish momentum and trend right, on all time frames. India hotels, let's see it in this India hotels. If you see, right, it's in a rounding pattern breakout, momentum is bullish, there is a bullish uh, rose divergence that is there, Mom trend is bullish, and it's bullish on the short term and divided of both India hotels. I see this bank, you have to be cautious slightly because it's uh, uh, it's very close to a resistance zone, but otherwise it's clearly bullish. Today it had a uh, you know, very volatile day, there are multiple bullish uh, divergences, you know, uh, the worst divergences that can be seen, which means that it's likely that this 1836 can, it can be taken out. So take the questions only after this 1836 is taken out. There is another. Uh, all time high level is also there 1867. You are slightly cautious and have the type stop losses tight, but cl clearly the price may retrace a bit or it can take support and hover around here, but definitely it is going to break this 1836 for sure. So, resistance also be cautious, but definitely, definitely, this is a bank is clearly showing bullishness, right? So, the market view as of now for tomorrow, I would say that it is cautious bullishness, right? So the market has done a lot of rally, the retracement has not, it had happened today but uh, finally it ended up uh, more or less flat, right. So some retracement could go to the 17,019, 16, 9, 950 kind of levels, it can retrace back and then it can consolidate for some period of time, that's what, uh, you know, uh, it has happened before also, so that can be expected and tomorrow is the policy outcome, so no patterns, nothing will work. No uh, uh, outcome depending on the outcome, market might react and be high in volatile. So, until the direction is very clear, no cut short portion size or don't enter either of that. After the event only, when the direction is clear, go long or short accordingly, right? But as of now, market overall is maintaining the bullishness absolutely from the momentum perspective, but there may be some retracement that can come in. So, you have to be cautious bullish. I hope it helps you to frame your view for the next day. And if you consider if you uh, like like the content and you know, if that helps you in some way consider to the like button and then share to maxim appreciate your help this is we have a few subscriptions so please subscribe comment share to max thanks a lot happy trading happy learning bye